Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're doing a deep dive into Jack Daniels Rye, and we're going to talk about one of the latest releases from them, and just explore how that affects what they can offer you in the future. Jack Daniels Distillery Series release of the twice barreled straight rye whiskey. Okay, now this is released uh, for July 2024, but it's it's kind of just available roughly now in like October 2024. So I don't know, just big shout out to James Street uh, for sending me this one. Thank you, James, long time support of the channel. Um, obviously, you gotta go to the distiller to get these, but we're gonna talk about what this could mean for you in the future. How are we gonna get up tomorrow with a little help from Z-Biotics? This little helper here helps us do these blinds for you and wake up feeling refreshed the next day, folks. It's that simple. Z-Biotics pre-alcohol is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was developed by PhD scientists to tackle your rough mornings after drinking that whiskey, bourbon, gin and juice, whatever you want, okay? It helps with it all. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut, and it's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Pre-alcohol produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. And just remember, you gotta drink this little Zeobiotics probiotic before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly, have some water, get a good night's sleep, and you're gonna feel your best tomorrow. You know the last time we used this? The last time? One of our blind flights here on this channel. That was the last time we did it. You know, beyond that, again, we got all kinds of, the holidays are coming, folks. They're all coming. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Some consider Halloween a holiday. It's all coming up. Make sure to get one of these. You'll see a link on your screen. Click on that link, zbotics.com slash bourbon bill, or click the QR code and you're gonna get 15% off your first order. Here I am watching your wallet for you in other ways than bourbon. So pick one up if you haven't already. But we gotta talk about all the differences in rye that Jack Daniels has, and I think why the rye is probably the best stuff they put out besides like Koi Hill, okay? I don't have one, but they do offer just like, a, I think it's a red label, standard 94 proof rye, it's pretty good. Pretty good, about, about 45, 47 doll hair, somewhere in there. Pretty good stuff for 94 proof. If you haven't tried that, that's like the base Jack Daniels rye. Now, where a lot of you are gonna really love to sit and talk is a Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof rye. Uh, this happens to be a store pick, but this is what the shelf bottles look like, okay? They may not be readily available in your area yet, but they are shelf bottles that will be. So if you can find the regular gold label bourbon you should be able to find this as well um proofs up there colors good between the bourbon and this i gotta probably pick this as better like shelf fee shelf so we're, we're gonna wet our whistle if you will on that one tonight this one is 133.2 proof compute compute 66.6 percent alcohol by volume here's that barrel proof rye shelfer oh it's just bananas char rye spice caramel Wow, it's all there. Down the hatch. Man, is that good. It's all caramel. I get a little bit of maple syrup. Banana, barrel char. It's so good. It's so good. If you've been holding off on buying one of these, one of the best rye values out there, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye, I gotta say. Now, Burn Bill, okay. 2020 was Barrel Proof Rye LE, right? Then they finally released it into a shelf bottle. Then comes along 2023. This is the 2023 JDLE. This is the twice barreled rye. Okay, pretty exciting. Look at the color on this SOB. Right? Look, it's like midnight black. Okay, go watch my review of this. I really enjoyed it. That's the secret. Now, we got to talk about the particulars here. This is a twice barreled rye. Okay, all right. It was an eight and a half year old twice barreled rye. It spent five years in the first barrel and like three and a half in the second or something like that. 
five and a half to three. Basically, it was around three to three and a half in the second barrel. Now, the first barrel that this was put into was a normal charred new oak barrel. The second barrel this was put into, though, was a heritage barrel, which it says here is heavily toasted and lightly charred. So this kind of like a special barrel, if you will. And the proof was only 100. Mm. Now, I drank through my first one. We are going to open the second one tonight because we're going to have a little tasty taste off. Such hateful seals. Oh. We're going to pour that here in the other clear glen. That is a fresh crack 100 proof compared to the barrel proof. It's darker. It's darker. Now, what notes do we get on this twice barrel dry, but second barrel is heavily toasted and lightly charred? Oh, like the most double oak, deep dark fruits, raisins, plums, chocolate. Wow, is that a phenomenal nose? Some might say coffee. Let's have a sip. There's coffee here, there's chocolate, there's like dates, raisins, plums, there's like a vanilla. Phenomenal. Phenomenal stuff. Only criticism is that it's not necessarily thin, but it's a bit light at 100 proof. The, the, it's, a, it's heavy flavor, okay? If you're not a big fan of heavy double oaks, it ain't going to be for you, okay? But what we came here to discuss was, was not these, you know, we talked about these before, right? I've done full reviews on them. It's twice barreled rye from Jack Daniels, 2024 July release, although it's kind of just coming out now, roughly in like September, uh, October time frame of 2024. And you might say, Bourbon Bill, we, we just tasted an, an, you know, an LE. Now, obviously this LE is darker, so we'll get to that in a second, but we just tasted a twice barrel. Ah, but there's some, some minor differences. Twice barrel Tennessee straight rye whiskey. This one's 107 proof, so we up the proof seven points. Arguably probably where it should have been originally. But this one says a unique rye grain bill. Twice barreled in new charred American white oak barrels for added depth and character. This here is two new charred American oak barrels. None of that toast and crap there. Two new charred. Okay, also, courtesy of James, thank you, sir. Now this one's older. This is a 2022 release. This would have been a year before the, the twice barreled. This is their regular rye mash bill, uh, finished first time in the new charred oak, white oak barrel, second time in a no char high toast. So they're really playing around with the second barrel, right? And there's also a maple finished uh, twice barreled rye. Like, so the first one's normal, normal barrel and, the, and then this barreled in a, like a toasted maple. I, I don't have that one. Um, but my point is this. Jack Daniels is is playing around with these distillery releases here. I mean, that's great, number one. Number two, whatever's the best, they're probably going to bottle as an LE in the future, right? So if you really dig the Barrel Proof Rise and you think that's as far as we're going to go with it, or you really dug last year's Twice Barreled Rye, but you're like, well, it was it was only 100 proof, and, you know, it was, it was second barrel was toast. It, we could get a double-double baby or, you know, stream double twice barreled. I don't know what they're going to call it, but we might get two new charred oak barrels as displayed by this Tennessee taster. Um, or we might get, you know, a no-char toast. I mean, what I'm saying is Jack Daniels is putting in the effort to come up with something good for you. Okay, so... Um, the review you might care about is the newest distillery release, so we're going to review that one and compare it to the other two. See how it shakes out. Pour it up here in the mini. So, I'm a big fan of Double Oaks, okay? 107 proof, we're here for it. Two new charred oak barrels. We are here for it. Let's give it a nose in. God, that smells wonderful. I get like a deep, rich molasses, cinnamon. Kind of that coffee note from the last year's Twice Barrels in there. Mm. So these noses are, are actually pretty close. Although I would say the, the LE is just richer with like the plums, dates, figs, raisins type of note going on in the chocolate. 
Yeah, that is a richer nose here on the the LE from last year. But this nose is also very good of the new taster. Down the hatch. Oh, that's so good. Oh, man. This has like just, just so much molasses. You can taste the char. There's caramel. That's killer. That is killer. What do they say here? Sweet smoke, burnt sugar, charred oak, blackstrap molasses, fresh spearmint, baking. I get the baking spices. I don't really get a spearmint or anise, but that is phenomenal. Now, compare that to the LE. So the 107 proof keeps a longer finish. It really does. So that's killer on this distillery exclusive. Now, it's clearly missing the age, right? Because if it... If it wasn't missing the age, it'd be as dark as this. And, I mean, it's dark. It's dark, but it's not that dark. So, I think they need to age it up more. If they age it up more, that would have probably be better than the 2023 special release. It is a bit of a longer finish. Um, a little bit thicker on the mouthfeel. But the flavors, while intense on this new Twice Barreled, are not as intense as the LE because of the age, I think. Now to compare to the high toast no char. So this would be, you know, a third option really. Again, reminiscent of both, but this one feels like it brings out some fruit notes. We get the caramel, we get the molasses, but it's a little bit brighter, but in a good way. Like all of a sudden there's fruit present where the other ones are like really dark, really woody, um, coffee-esque, right? Like, like raisin, fig, plum, really dark stuff. This one seems to bring some fruits from the toasting um, and no char. This one's also 101 proof. Compute, compute, 50.5% alcohol by volume. Down the hatch. Man, is that good too. Man, is that good. Wow. I mean, it's very caramel, chocolatey. There's barrel char here too, probably from the first one. I get a molasses, but not as not as rich as either the LE or the the double charred new twice barrel from this year back to that one if you miss the 2023 LE this 2024 release of the twice barrel from uh, Jack Daniels is as close as you're going to get in terms of flavor profile from them and it's pretty it's pretty damn good now these are 375s find a buddy in Tennessee to help you out um if you couldn't get the LE, you didn't, you didn't want to, you know, they were 70 doll hairs, you know, last year, 75, something like that. But, you know, secondary was 150 or so for, for the uh, 2023 LE. If you couldn't find it, you didn't want to pay that, pick one of these up. I mean, you're getting really close. And I think the two new charred barrels is something, something to behold. I really do. We're not getting any more scientific than that. My, my point is this, winner tonight I think it's the 2023 LE. It's just so rich and deep and dark and delicious. Now, if I was to compare our distillery exclusives to just our, well, this is a pick of the Barrel Proof Rye, right? What do we add? I'd say it's a different experience, okay? You, you take all the good things about this you add in molasses, chocolate, barrel char, um, just double oaking in general. If you like double oaking, you owe it to yourself to, to pick one of these little distillery exclusives up. Um, or again, you know, if you, if you couldn't find the LE from last year, I think you'd like that too. But if you're not necessarily a fan of double oaks, I don't know that that's going to be for you, right? But, you know, you'd be wrong because double oak's great. So... Bottom line is this, I think there's a lot of good things on the horizon for Jack Daniels, especially in the rye world. I don't think they're going to stop at just barrel proof shelf rye and, you know, two LEs spaced three years apart. I, I think maybe next year in 2025, we'll see another different cool rye option. Or if we don't, maybe the following year, or we might, we might see a new shelf bottle. Like, just a standard double oak rye, you know, something like that. Like, 
they have the ability to do it. They're clearly pay, playing around with different mash bills, different chars, different toast, no toast, high char, no char, low char, me char, you char. They're just playing around with all kinds of different stuff like that. And that gives me hope that they're, that they're experimenting, they're figuring out what's really good, and they're only going to put out to you what's killer. Because honestly, Jack Daniels has not missed at all on any of their LEs. Any of their LEs are always chef's kiss fantastic. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Have a good evening, everybody.